Hello, you guys. This is me I'm going to draw a ladybug. Um, and also, I'll tell you about fun facts about ladybug that I research just randomly to take the time. Um, so, a little bit about me. I'm just doing this for fun, and hopefully, you guys like it. So, I'm just going to speed up the process a little bit and let you guys know. So, ladybug is also known as the Consinelid. Day, something like that. <laughs> so the other names it has is Ladybird, which is from the Britain or the other English continents. Um, ladybug here in North America is known for that, or the Lady Beetle. Um, the colors can be yellow, orange, red. Has six legs, and the red, the color that they have is usually a warning for birds to tell them, I'm nasty, I'm not good, don't eat me. It's like a self-defense that they have. Another thing that was pretty cool is that um, their designs on their back, their shell that protects their wings. Um, it could be spots, stripes, or it could be none at all, which, is, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm here, I'm just going to outline, and yeah, the marker was kind of dying, so eh, you'll see why I wanted to outline it. So anyhow, they live to two to three years, and that's pretty long for a bug, I guess. And here's a, a myth that, that people think is that the spots are what how old they are, which is really false, actually. It is their color, sometimes. The darker the color the, of the ladybug is how old they are. But you can't guess how old they are. <laughs> if that made any sense. They do release a liquid in their legs. So that the predators, if they try to eat them, they squirt out from their legs. And it will give them this bitter taste. So hopefully that they won't be eaten. But I think around that time, they be dead. Because usually birds eat these ladybugs or dragonflies or other things. They, they're they pretty small, so they I don't think they could live long. But they also play dead, which I don't think will help them either. Um, a lot of animals do that, but I never knew about insects. Excuse me. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, they are predators. They... Even though they are omnivore, um, can't speak right now. Um, an omnivores, so they're plant eaters, but they can be meat eaters. Um, they can attack ca caterpillars, which is surprising how small they are. But I guess if it's a caterpillar small enough, maybe they can beat the caterpillar up. <laughs> um, so. Oh, I, was, I got curious at one time of where their eyes are. Their eyes are located where the two white spots in the front, which was really interesting. I did not know it was right there. I thought it would be like more to the side where the big white part is. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing you need to know is that there are 5,000 species. And that's pretty, pretty a lot. So, it's kind of weird because I hardly ever see ladybugs around here and, well, yeah, 5,000 species. Wow. Where are they? <laughs> um, so, I have something about their their name. Um, the Latin word is of the, here we go again, cocosinalidae. So hopefully I say that right. Uh, which is, means scarlet. And scarlet is the color of red. And so, in the Britain world, um, the ladybird or lady beetle um, had the word lady. And so, it came from this European farmer was praying to Mary, the mother of Jesus. And he prayed that to get rid of these pests that was invading his crops. And then these ladybugs came in, they were in a huge amount and started eating these pests. And that's why these bugs call Ladybug, Lady of Mary, or Lady of Beetle, something like that. So it was named after Mary, the mother of Jesus. 
and in a lot of paintings it's often depicted with a red cloak. Um, the spots that you see is um, set is usually you'll see seven spots so it represents seven joys and seven sorrows. Um, it'll be interesting to know which joys what each defines of the seven joys and seven sorrows if that made any sense. So cool. Anyways, I thought that was pretty interesting and I hope you guys enjoy this little show clip of me drawing a ladybug um, in a pencil into a marker into a digital form. It's not much and maybe hopefully I'll do more in the future that will be way better and yeah, <laughs> maybe improve my speaking skills and stuff. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter and here on my YouTube, share and like. I just want to share my art around the, the world, if I can. Um, I'll see if I could do more challenges, something like that, like other YouTubers do, and follow the trend. I just want to, I don't know, express myself. So have a good day. See you guys.